Welcome back. This is going to be my full technical analysis for December um, 3rd in 2020. And uh, we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. As you can see, we have broken down quite significantly again today. We tried to rally and then broke down. And this is not a good sign for the US dollar. So this inverted hammer is very a very bearish sign. In, even though that we are at the edge of being oversold, this could mean that we go all the way down to 90, which is basically uh, the very lows back in 2000 and, uh, 2017. So we'll most likely go down there, and then we rally up towards the 20 exponential or probably the 50. So we may see uh, an even bigger decline in the US dollar index uh, tomorrow session and on Friday session, and that means that uh, commodities will continue to rise, and uh, precious metals will continue to rise, and probably also indices. We'll have a look at that uh, later on. So we'll start by looking at oil, and as you can see, we broke down towards the previous highs in end of August. So around. Uh, 43.8 is at the moment supported and it will take quite a lot in order to get through that. Um, this market, it looks like we're creating a, a bullish flag pattern here. So we may trend a little bit lower towards this area. The, 15, the 20 exponential will move this way and when we get basically um, close to that, it will basically shoot to the upside. So the target here is most likely First of all, I need to get this down here. What's wrong with this? So we, the first target is, for, ex, uh, for example, we need to take out these previous highs. So at 46, that is um, as the top at this point. When that breaks, that opens the door to 47 and a half, and then all the way up to 50. So this market will most likely trade in between $50 and 35 or 40, $36. So uh, a 15 uh, range, a dollar range is very normal. 10, 15 dollars is quite normal for, for, for oil, and that is most likely where we are going to trade. So to rally all the way up to 50, that's going to be an enormous amount of sellers are going to come in here and basically sell this. Uh, but that is where I am going to enter. So I'm going to leave oil at this point. Uh, maybe if we can see see that it's going to rally significantly here, break down and uh, head towards the uh, 20 exponential and then rally, then I'll enter a buy. But I'm definitely going to sell when we get to, to 50 or even 47 in that range. So let's look at natural gas. And as you can see, uh, natural gas did exactly what I expected it to do. Usually when we stay this long at an area and you just can't break above it it breaks down so we are we are actually creating lower lows here and that means that we are going to see something similar to this and head towards 2.5 so it may take a while it may be choppy but that is most likely what is going to happen here so this is going to be a floor the 200 moving average is going to travel this way we'll probably never get down to the 20, the 200 moving average but even if we do, that will be uh, quite a lot of support. Technical indicators for this market are dreadful. So it is not tradable at this, it is this, at this stage. It could rally. It could also break down. We're just in the middle of nowhere. We need to see where it basically has a major support in order to enter for a buy. Um, and if we break, of course, below the 200 moving average, then we are technically able to sell this because that means that we are going significantly lower in this market so let's look at copper so copper started to fall today so we went all the way down to 3.43 and then we rallied again but i think this is a sign of weakness for copper i think that this market is ready to basically take the fall towards the 20 exponential. So we may see copper fall down to 2.3.2 uh, uh, within the next uh, probably five trading days. And as you can see, technical indicators are here. We are overbought. 
CCI is turning around. We just need to cross this line here and then it will fall like a rock. And the same goes for the stochastic, but the MACD is still pretty bullish. So it is possible to basically start selling this again with a stop loss right above here, two point, uh, I would have a very sh short stop loss, really short. So just above these very highs here. So 3.53 is where you should put your stop loss and take profit should be around to 3.29 or 3.3. That is probably a trade I'm going to make um, tomorrow or on Friday. Well, let's see. So let's look at gold. So gold ran into support here. I put a picture of it and on Patreon where we basically ran into support. And at this point, gold is very bullish. But I am still hesitating in investing in this. It just does not feel right. It just doesn't look right. We are still in a downtrend. However you try to um, turn this page, we're still in a downtrend. And as long as that is the case, every rally is mostly going to be sold into and the next um, rally up towards the 20 exponential or the 50 is probably going to be sold in, and uh, all the way down to the 200 moving average around 1800 level. So until we basically break the 50 and give a clear sign that this market is going to go higher, that it is it's technically a gamble. It's possible to trade it, but there is a 50-50 chance. You may just as well lose money as gain money. Technical indicators here are still very bullish, but where to? To the 20 or the 50? That's the question. So let's look at silver. And as you can see, we tried to pierce the 50 moving average. These technical indicators are looking really bullish for silver, but still we did not break the 50. We have been here numerous times and we just don't manage to break the 50. So we may roll down again from here all the way down to 20, 21.8 and probably down to 20. Yes, until we start trading above the 50, I am not, I'm staying far, far away from this market. You can see also here, we started trading above the 50 and then just bang, collapsed. So this is a risky market that I'm still um, staying far, far away from. I need a better signal than this. So let's look at platinum. So platinum just continues to, to go bananas. Uh, we ran into support here, not resistant at uh, 1.018. And at this point, we are significantly overbought. Uh, technical indicators are showing signs of weakness, for example, the stochastic and the CCI, but not the MACD. Um, we are, in order to, uh, to, to, um, to enter this market, it needs to fall back towards the 20. So around, around this area here, a bit, a bit these previous highs here, around 970, 79, or these previous highs here, which is just, uh, just only 1000. So but a pullback towards the 20 exponential is probably the best. And then you can basically buy it if it shows signs of support. Otherwise, this is very overstretched. It's not possible to buy it here or it's just a bad idea to buy it here. And to sell it is uh, quite a gamble, to be very honest. So let's look at Pallium. And as you can see, we have broken down yet again and rallied. And at this point, we mostly will go lower. We will see this market go towards the 50 because if you look at the technical indicators, they're all turning around. They are flat or they're basically turning around. And that basically shows signs of exhaustion. So whether or not we break the 50 and go to these very lows or we go just to the 50 moving average and then rally again, that is to be seen. But if we rally from the 50, then there is a plausible buy for this market. Otherwise, no, just stay away from this market. So aluminium. So many of these um, many of these commodities have just gone absolutely parabolic and are not tradable at this point. They are just too risky to enter. Aluminium is also one of them. So we broke down to um, 2.026 and then rallied again. 
these technical indicators are showing signs of exhaustion. Is they are showing showing signs that this market will most likely do something similar to this, and then head towards the twenty exponential before going higher, and that is basically what we are supposed to wait wait for. Uh, a rollover from here towards the 20 exponential and then go higher from there. So something similar to this and then just go higher from there. So the next target, of course, will be 2.1, but I don't think we're going to go see 2.1 at this stage. We'll probably see this market turn around tomorrow or Friday, and then next week we'll be able to enter this market to target this area. So let's look at nickel. And as you can see, we broke down toward, uh, below the 20 exponential, rallied again, and then we ended just at the 20 exponential. And at this point, we are either going to stay here or we are going to test the 50. These technical indicators are just showing or screaming that this market is going to go lower. Of course, heading towards the 50 moving average is just an enormous buying opportunity. So that is what you're supposed to wait for. Something similar to this. Even the peers of the 50 may show uh, a, a massive sign to the upside. So uh, we'll see. We could enter a, 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 um, a buy here, but better is the 50 moving average at this point. So let's look at sugar. And this was one of the trades that we did today. So we have been waiting for this for a really long time and it's probably going to be enormously profitable. Um, there is one hurdle uh, uh, to be said that the 20 exponential is here and that could offer some kind of uh, resistance. Hopefully not too much. If we break above that, then we are just going to explode to the upside. And I think that is going to be the case. We are going to trade above the 20 exponential moving average again. We are going to target 0 0.1562 um, because this candlestick here is just enormously bullish. We saw how much um, support was at the 50, so this is not going to break. These technical indicators are about to turn around, so we could see a little bit of choppiness, trade sideways here, and then just go. So we could hold this for some time, but this is most likely a trade that's going to be enormously profitable. So let's look at cotton. We have uh, broken down towards the 20 exponential, and now this is looking quite interesting. I think that we're going towards uh, close to the 50. I think that we're going here. 0 0.6998 is the previous highs here. And there's where we find our major support and where we can enter this market for a buy. These technical indicators are still very uh, bearish. They are uh, pointed to lower price levels. And um, yes, at this point, that is also expected. The 20 will most likely break tomorrow. And then we'll head towards this area where we basically can buy with a stop loss right here. And then target these very highs. That is our trade for cotton. So let's go see Kakoa. And uh, this was a fairly profitable trade. I uh, decided to leave the trade when we were around this area. And the reason why I did that is because of this exponential moving average. We can see that we got close to it and then rallied again. It is to be seen whether or not we've uh, crossed the 20 exponential. If that is the case, then we'll head all the way down to 2.5, just above the 50. These technical indicators are looking still really, really uh, bearish. So we may get that uh, try, but we could also rally from here. It is also possible that this was just a pullback and then we rally and try to take out these highs first and then these very highs. So the RSI is much lower now, 50, 59. If it gets down to 50 or 40 or something like that, and we haven't broken through here, then watch to the upside, then it's basically a buying opportunity. So let's look at wheat. We can see that we have rallied, but still we're trading underneath the 50 moving average. We are Every time we get close to the 50, that is going to be resistant. And that means that we may roll over and head even lower at this point. In order to enter for a buy here, we need to break above the 50 moving average, even these previous highs here in order to indicate that we are going to go higher. There is a signs of life. For example, RSI, CCI is very bullish. 
the RSI is turning around, but these two indicators are still very bearish at this point. So it is not a, a trade that you should enter at any circumstance now. So just stay away from it. So hope you found this helpful. You are welcome to ask, uh, ask me questions over at Patreon. And uh, good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.